What's going on, Maxi Climber family? My name is Giancarlo, and today I'm gonna take you through a 20 minute full body workout. Now, if you have the classic, now don't worry, you can still use your body weight, but if you have the XL like we have here, feel free to add any resistance. Like I said, we have 20 minutes and we're gonna get started right now, okay? So let's get our timers going, and we're gonna start in three, two, in that forward grip. You ready? Here we go. So just nice and easy, what we're gonna be doing right now for the next two minutes is just getting a nice little warm up. We're just warming up the body, getting the blood flowing. Two minutes in those short strides. So let me briefly break down what we're gonna be doing so you know and you can plan ahead. Okay, so we're gonna start off focusing on the upper body. If you're like me, I like to focus on the upper body, but I understand we still have to focus on the lower body. Okay, so we have that on block number two, and then we're gonna transition and finish off just like we started with arms again. All right, so right now, just for 20 more seconds, stay with me. Forward grip, take some nice big deep breaths. Because once we get started, we're gonna push up the pace, okay? 10 more seconds here, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in that forward grip, and we're just gonna transition into long strides, okay? So here we go, three, two, one, here we go. Nice and long strides, again, still part of the warm up because we're gonna be switching from grips, from intensity, you're gonna hear me say forward grip, reverse grip, we're even gonna be playing around with the fixed bars. We'll be doing some sprints, not too many, but some sprints, but most of the time, we're gonna be focusing on that moderate pace. Okay, and one thing I want you to focus on, and you're gonna hear me say it throughout the workout, is focus on quality, not so much quantity. I'll get back to that once we get started, okay? So 20 seconds here, nice and long strides. You wanna kinda of feel that stretch, because like I said, we're gonna be pushing the pace, we're gonna be switching intensities. 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna get started with our first upper body arms block. Still in those long strides, but we're gonna go single arm. So stand up tall for me, one arm behind your back. I'm gonna start with my right, so here we go. So what I want you to focus on, one, we're in that forward grip. The elbow, flare it in, don't let it flare out, why? That's gonna let you engage your muscles a lot more than if you were to throw that elbow out. We call it a chicken wing. No chicken wing, okay? Stay here with me. Grab that handle nice and tight. Three seconds and we're gonna transition to the other side. Here we go, stand up tall. Switch sides, arm behind your back. Okay, so like I said, elbow stays tucked in. Forward grip. We're focusing on those triceps when we're in that forward grip. To get the most out of this single arm workout. I want you to squeeze the handle. The more you squeeze it, the more you pull, the more you're gonna feel that back. Those lats, your tricep, your shoulders. Three seconds here. Stand up tall for me, good. Active recovery, nice and short. How was that? Not so bad, right? So we're gonna be doing that again. And again, I want you to focus, put that mind-muscle connection, we say that a lot in bodybuilding, okay? So what I mean by that is focus on what we're doing, what we're targeting, and right now we're targeting the arms, the upper body. So I need you to really tuck those elbows in, squeeze those lats, squeeze the triceps. We'll get to the biceps pretty soon, and those shoulders as well, okay? What we're gonna be going into right now, short sprints, all right? First sprint of today's workout. Take a nice big deep breath. We're gonna stay in those short strides and all we're gonna do is pick up the pace. That's it, that's all I want. Just pick up the pace. Show me the difference from moderate pace to sprint pace. What does that look like? We're going 15 more seconds here. Give me 10 more seconds of high intensity, big push, and I'm gonna give you a little active recovery rest. Five, four, three, two, one, stand up tall, enjoy our nice little active recovery. Okay, so just to give you a little breakdown of what we just did, that was our first set, but we're gonna be doing it again. So now you know what to do, what to expect, Let's try and push the pace a little bit. Again, we're gonna start with that single arm, 
and I really want you to squeeze the handle as hard as you can. I want you to leave a print. Leave a print, really squeeze it. Why? Because you're telling your body you are getting ready, right? If you just gently grab on the handle, maybe like two fingers, you're not really gonna get much out of it. Your, your muscles are not gonna be able to really recruit, so you really wanna put a big squeeze. So here we go, three, two, one, single arm, your choice. I'm going with right, ready, and go. Long stride. Let's pick up the pace now. We know what we're doing. Keep that elbow tucked in. Long strides. Drop down with the heel, really press down with the heel. Punch that fist up to the ceiling and pull it down. Think elbow down to the hip. You wanna exaggerate. When we're on the maxi climber, you wanna exaggerate. Three seconds, two, one, stand up. Let's switch sides, ready, here we go. Now throughout the workout, you're gonna hear me breathing, but you're gonna hear me exaggerate my breathing. I say this in all my workouts. It's important to exaggerate your breathing, why? Because most of us sometimes, our breathing feels like it's kinda off, but when you really push, you really exhale, you get the most out of your workout, believe it or not, especially in your core, which everyone loves to work, right? Stand up tall, active recovery, nice and easy, short strides. Don't you just love a full body maxi climber workout? Well, we're doing it all, we're toning our body, we're burning tons of calories. Why? Simply because we're using more of our body, more muscles. Think about like compound exercises where we use more muscle groups at the same time. Our upper body, our core, our lower body. That's our full body. So here we go, 10 seconds, and we're gonna fall into our next sprint. We did this once, now we're gonna go for it again. Pick it up, you ready? Here we go, here we go. Short strides, keep the elbows tucked in, look forward, focus, focus on your breathing. This is your last sprint before, before going into our active recovery and then switching up blocks. So give me what you got for these last 10 seconds. Eight seconds, hang on team, hang on, hang on. Grab on those handles, pull down, pull down, pull down. Three, two, one, stand up nice and tall and active recovery, nice. All right, believe it or not, that was our first block. You just did that, we just did that. All right, so now we're gonna transition to our second block, focusing on those, those lower, focusing on those legs. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on the quads, the hammies, the glutes, we all love working on those glutes, right? So here we go. We got about 15 more seconds here. And just like the first block where we did single arm, now we're gonna do the same concept. We're gonna go single leg. So we're gonna go single leg strides. I'm gonna start with my right. Feel free to choose however you wanna start. Here we go, single leg. I want you to grab those thick bars for me. Drop that leg down and explode up. All right, so really, Explode up. I don't need you to sprint, right? But I really want you to explode, especially if you have resistance. So really, explode out of there. Control your weight down, explode out. Send that hip back. You're really gonna activate the glutes. If you stand up tall, you're gonna focus more on those quads. If you send that hip back, you're gonna activate those glutes. Good, other side, here we go. Send that hip back, stand up for me. Again, this is one of those moments where you're gonna hear me exaggerate my breathing. I want you to think as if you were gonna jump, right? So if you're gonna jump, you're gonna, you're gonna give me all you have. So explode. Again, when on the maxi climber, you control your pace, you control the movements. So I want you to exaggerate so you can get the most out of this workout. Three, two, one, active recovery. So now we're gonna grab onto those thick, thick bars and we're gonna go into nice, short strides. Now, one thing I want you to notice, if you're feeling just like me right now, where my heart rate is really pushing, we use these active recoveries to really focus on lowering our heart rate. But when doing the maxi climber, we are pushing the pace. We are burning more calories than you think. Why? Because we are using our full body, okay? And that's one of the best things, honestly, my favorite thing when working on the maxi climber, because again, it's like compound exercises. 
The more muscle groups we can work at once, the more calories we're going to be burning, okay? So here we go, three seconds, and then we're gonna be going into our single arm, so I'm sorry, we're gonna be going into our single leg, long strides, here we go. Again, really explode. You wanna focus on that glute, send those hips back. More quads, chest up a little bit, knees gonna push a little bit forward. It's okay, trust me, someone that had a lot of knee injuries growing up, the maxi climber is probably one of the best things, why? Because it is still low impact, but you can still go high intensity. Low impact does not mean low intensity. All right, so now real quick, we're gonna go into the other leg, stand up nice and tall. Now, what I was saying was that you can still push the pace. Why? Because you control your pace, but most importantly, you can play around with the resistance and still pick up the pace and re really focus on that high intensity, which like I said, is gonna really, really get you those, burning those calories more than any other piece of equipment. All right, so here we go. We got five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Stay on the fixed bars. Nice and short strides. Focus on your breathing. We're gonna be doing the same thing right now. We're gonna go, go opposite leg, straight down. Remember, focus on the long stride. We got about 20 more seconds. Again, you wanna go full extension, don't cheat it. Right, try to go as low as you can, not necessarily to where you're touching the bottom, okay, but just enough where you feel your leg lengthen. Right, right there, you'll know it's just right. All right, so we got about seven more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, stand up tall. I'm gonna go right going down, stand up nice and tall. Remember, explode, the more you explode, you will feel that coming, that power coming from the glutes, coming from the hamstrings, coming from the quads. That core is always working no matter what. And again, if you focus on letting that air out, when you exaggerate your breathing, that core engages even more. Three more seconds here. Good, stand up nice and tall, other side. Here we go, we're in the middle of the second block right here, getting ready to transition into our Final block, I know. We're almost done with our workout. Stay with me, stay with me. We got about 15 more seconds here. 10 seconds, push the pace a little bit. I'm gonna give you an active recovery coming up real soon. So pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice, stay on those fixed bars for me. Nice and short. All right, so we focus on the arms. We focus on the legs. And now we're gonna finish up exactly how we started, focusing on the arms again, but what's different? We did the forward grip for six minutes, and again, the lats, the back of the shoulder, the triceps. Now we're gonna transition into that reverse grip. I told you we we're gonna be changing intensities, changing grips. So now we're gonna finish off in that reverse grip where we're gonna be targeting more the bicep, the front of the shoulder, the lats, the core, again, our full body. So do me a favor, let's go reverse grip, single arm. I'm gonna start with my right, and here we go. Long strides. Now one of my favorite things about when doing reverse grip is that, remember how I talked about no chicken wing, right? Keeping that elbow nice and tucked in? Well, in that reverse grip, because of the rotation of the wrist, it allows you to keep the elbow more tucked in, right? Even if I wanted to, can't really go out, right, compared to when we're in that forward grip. So this is gonna allow us to stand up tall, change grips, the other side, right? This is gonna allow us to get a better engagement and focus on the bicep, which is exactly what we're doing when in that reverse grip. So stay with me. Now again, when we're doing arms, you really have to focus. You really wanna squeeze the handles pull down so you can get the most of that bicep or tricep contraction, okay? Stay with me, five more seconds. Stand up nice and tall, hands on both handles, and then just nice and easy, good. So like I said, similar to that first block, but now all, the only thing that we're doing differently is making sure we work both sides of the arm, we focus on the tricep the first block, and now going on to the biceps the second block. Again, use this as your active recovery. You can focus on your breathing. 
so then we can really pick up the pace. I want you to show me, I know I can't see you, right, but only you know, all right, how much you're really pushing that pace. All right, so we have our moments of active recovery, we have our moments of moderate pace, and then sprint pace, and speaking, and speaking of sprint, we're going into our first sprint in that reverse grip. You ready? Here we go, short strides. Remember, this one has to be different than your moderate pace. It's just a little bit faster, a little bit more intense, but you grabbing onto those handles, that doesn't change. Keep those elbows tucked in, that way you can engage the core a lot more. Those six pack abs. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. We got five more seconds here and I promise I'm gonna give you a nice little active recovery. Stay with me. Good, stand up nice and tall, feel that. And then nice and short, good. All right, we are more than halfway in this workout. You're doing it. Stay with me, enjoy this active recovery. And then we're gonna go right back to the other side. Again, single arm, reverse grip. I can't emphasize enough, guys, when we're doing this, we're focusing, like I said before, quality over quantity, right? It's like me saying, instead of doing 100 sit-ups, I'd rather you do 20, why? it's not really about how much you're doing unless your your mind if your focus is not there then you're not going to get the most out of this workout okay so again i'm going to touch up on it again single arm here we go doesn't have to be super fast but it should be intense now how can it be intense without going so fast well you're putting all of your energy into this single exercise right here so every exercise, we're pushing as hard as we can. We don't necessarily have to go super fast, right? But the little things that we can do, we can engage our core more. We can keep our hips squared so our core is nice and engaged. We can grab the handles nice and tight so our forearms, so our biceps, switch sides, knows exactly what we're doing. We can exaggerate our breathing. Stay with me, team. We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm gonna give you a little active recovery coming up soon. Stay with me. We got 10 more seconds. Long strides, punch up to the ceiling, press down with those heels, pull down, feel those lats. Here we go. Stand up nice and tall. Take a nice little deep breath. Active recovery. Now this is one of those moments where you can kind of, you know, release the tension from grabbing on so tight. Let the forearms, the fingers, the arms, you know, get a little shake, it's okay. You don't always have to be grabbing on, get a little shake, because then we're gonna pick up the pace, which is when it's important, okay? So here we go, stay with me. 20 more seconds, and I believe we're gonna go into our final sprint. We got 10 more seconds, and I really want you to push the pace on this one. I want you to grab those handles nice and tight, keep those elbows tucked in, squeeze that core, Press down with the heels. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Nice and short, let's go, come on. Come on, stay with me, exaggerate the breathing. Keep it tight, focus, look straight through those handles. Keep those elbows tucked in. Squeeze those handles nice and tight. Tell your body you're ready, you're ready to push. Come on, we want more, let's go. The more energy we generate through our body, the more calories we're gonna burn. Let's go. Keep pushing, a couple more seconds. Stand up nice and tall for me. Feel that burn in the legs. And then nice and easy, short strides. Stay with me, we're gonna stay in that reverse grip. I want you to really take a moment, just really focus, letting that air out because you are officially done with this workout. We went full 20 minutes. And now what we're gonna do just to focus on lowering the heart rate even more, we're gonna give it an extra minute of what we call our cool down, okay? But we are gonna change grips. We're gonna be going into that forward grip, so let's start doing that now. Go into that forward grip, and we're gonna go long strides. I know some of us are like, long strides? Cooling down, the reason why I like the long strides is because we get a nice little stretch when we're in those short strides, we can't really stretch as much. So again, cool down, and it's easy. It's a nice little pace. Remember, we're soon gonna get off the climber, so all we're doing here is focusing on lowering that heart rate. Get a nice stretch on those lats. 
take a nice big deep breath. Guys, I just wanna say thank you, right, for being here with us today, getting a killer 20 minute workout. We're gonna be here always for you. Just make sure you have your climber, maybe some water with you, a towel, because as you can tell, I'm sweating over here and we only worked out for 20 minutes and honestly, that is the beauty about having your own maxi climber machine. Five more seconds, enjoy it. And time, all right? So what I want you to do is grab onto those fixed bars for me. Slowly come off the climber. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Feel that burn in those legs. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Coach Giancarlo. Thank you so much for tuning in to our workout today. If you would like to see more of our content, make sure you like, hit us with a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that tap bell, that way you guys never miss a video. And then I will see you all in our next workout.